Once you find a source in EBSCOhost, there are some very useful tools that are included to help you better utilize the database. As you're looking for information, it's a really good idea for you to archive resources you find that you might use later on, so that you don't have to reconduct lengthy searches. This database allows you to send the article to your Google Drive. To do so, click the Google Drive icon and sign on to your account. You will need to allow the database provider to access your account. Once that step is completed, you can open your Google Drive and the article will appear under a folder entitled EBSCO. Open that folder and your source will be there. Printing is also available and can easily be done by clicking the print link. Some students find it easier to send the information to their email. That feature is also available. To email your source, click the email link and enter your email address. Choose your settings and click Send. The Database Generated Citation feature is a lifesaver. Click the Cite link and a new window appears. This database provides several citation styles, including APA and MLA. If you are indeed using MLA, navigate to that citation and select it. Copy the selected citation using Ctrl-C on your PC keyboard. You can also right-click on your mouse to copy. Then navigate to your document and use Ctrl-V or right-click your mouse to paste. Note that these database-generated citations are not always accurate. Consult a librarian to ensure their accuracy. Some students like to download the article to their hard drive or USB drive. That feature is also available. Click the download link, locate the place on your computer where you want the file to download, and click Save. The features in this database can be found in most other databases. Use them to your advantage to make your researching life a lot easier. As always, librarians are here to help.